It's raining out today, so I finally got to a project I wanted to get to for a while. Uh, I've got these two hemlock tanks, and I did a race with them, and the Tiger was clearly faster. Uh, the thing about the Tiger is it, one of the motors is allowed to run at super speed when kind of going straight. It doesn't quite drive straight. Uh, the Bulldog, on the other hand, cannot access super speed uh, when it's going straight so it ends up being about half the speed and what I was going to try to do was to get both motors to run uh, super speed going straight which would effectively double the speed of the tank so uh, let's see uh, start off with the stock units both tanks and see how we do let's start with our bulldog Speed on the Bulldog. Not too bad, just shy of one mile an hour. I think it gets a little bump when you accelerate quickly. I'm gonna just try that one more time. Accelerate a little more smoothly. That's showing up as half a mile an hour, so that lurch at the beginning was a little bit fast. Okay, let's uh, try the same thing with the Tiger. So I'm just going to go straight forward with the Tiger. Uh, it'll turn, and you have to correct that, but it shows you kind of what the top speed it can achieve with one motor doing super speed. straight instead of just super speed spin. Uh, I'm going to try to do it with this. It comes from RC Tanks Australia and it's RC5HL and basically what it allows me to do is run an upgraded transmitter that shows me and allows me to change the settings on each channel uh, whereas with the stock transmitter uh, we can't control any of that it's just preset. So I'm going to install this uh, in 2.4 gigahertz is the other benefit I guess of it because we're having problems with these long antennas getting bust off and the range really isn't that good. Um, so I'm going to install the 2.4 gigahertz first and compare it to see how it runs uh, and then after that try to get the super speed out of both because I actually don't understand where the glitch is in this one tank that makes it faster than the other. Um, so there's something up with a board or resistor or something, and I'll have to figure that out to replicate it, I believe, uh, to make both motors do it. Okay, so we got the 2.4 gigahertz conversion done. Uh, tanks all back together, same motors. Uh, it's a little bit glitchy, but I'm just going to do the speed run uh, now that I've got it set up with this radio.
five from point eight before. So I can say that a pretty good improvement. You can see it drives a little straighter. And it was just done by doing the 2.4 gigahertz upgrade that seems to allow the motors to run at, at their top speed. Thanks.